Hello everybody. Today I've got a couple of Springfield Armory Hellcats and a couple magazines for them that go up to 17 rounds. So Springfield Armory sent us two of these 17 round magazines to test, see if I can get the lights to not glare, that work for the any of the Hellcats. And at first I was just going to do a review on the magazines, mostly do they work and what do they look like. But I really got thinking about the significance of this because with the Hellcat with 17 rounds in it, does it make something like this Glock 17, which is significantly larger, heavier, bulkier, does it kind of make this obsolete? Because you can have a Hellcat that is smaller than a Glock 26 to start with, with the flush mag, that you can then put a magazine in it that is Glock 17 capacity. So if I start with that, so I've got a Glock 17 here. This happens to be a Gen 5, and I carry one of these. This is a 26. I got lots of Glocks over here, and they all got numbers. But if I take this Glock 26, and I take this Hellcat, and I set them side by side, and I'm going to actually set them on one of the magazines so that I can factor out the... Uh, I'm going to move this one here out of the way, so that I can factor out the uh, red dot that happens to be on the Hellcat. You'll see that the Glock 26 is bigger in every dimension, and it's heavier. And that makes a big difference in concealed carry. From a capacity standpoint, the Glock has 10 rounds in its flush mag. The Hellcat has 11, so the Hellcat's got a one-round advantage to start with. And I'm going to try not to spout a whole bunch of numbers, just some that are important. The Glock, is om the 26, is almost a half inch longer than the Hellcat, and it weighs 21.52 ounces. And the Hellcat, as you see it here, without the red dot and the laser, just in the stock configuration, only weighs 17.9 ounces, so about a four ounce difference. So if you're looking for the concealed carry, pocket carry, ultimate concealed carry, the Hellcat's thinner, lighter, shorter, smaller, with a little more capacity. Now, you might say, okay, that's great. So I got my pocket gun and maybe I don't go with the Glock 26 anymore. Maybe the Hellcat replaces my pocket gun. But then it kind of ups the game, by the way, this Hellcat is, of course, unloaded. If I put in the 15 round, which is right over here, and by the way, there's also a 13 round magazine, kind of makes it a little bit taller, moves it to a three finger grip. But the 15 round right here, now I got a full three finger grip and potentially replaces the Glock 19 that you see right here. So let's take a, take a look at that. So I've got a Glock 19, set it up here on the magazine. I've got a Hellcat and I line them up. So now I have a Hellcat with 15 rounds. I've got a Glock 19 with 15 rounds. The Hellcat is significantly smaller and shorter by just a hair and lighter. Now, you might look to say, okay, but maybe I don't want it to be shorter. Well, I have over here another Hellcat, which is the Pro, and the Pro basic magazine is 15 rounds. And if I set that up, it's a little bit longer, but it's still smaller than the Glock, still thinner than the Glock, it's still lighter than the Glock. Now, I'm picking on Glock right now because it happens to be what I carry. But you could actually substitute in the M&P or any of the others that are out there right now in the, your standard double stacks and say that as, these, as the Hellcat keeps upping the game, you're starting to see where it can significantly beat some of the classic guns you've got. When you take this one that you can have different inserts and you've got the seamless grips and the sleeves on the magazine, you can go from concealed carry to, and I'm going to show you in a second, full service size in a very simple one package or if you're really wanting to not have that separation and you want to just start with something in the middle you've got the pro but let's get to the point of why the 17 round magazine so here's the 17 round magazine in the pro and i'm going to put the 17 round magazine in the original and i'll use one of these magazines as a prop if I take the two Hellcats, now these both Hellcats now have 17 round capacity. Of course, the original one's a little bit shorter, but you've got a very compact, very light package for 17 rounds. Now, I'm not going to count the weight of the ammo. I'm going to bring this 17 back out. I'll set the little guy aside, put this Glock 17 up here. So I've got 17 rounds in the Hellcat, 17 rounds in the Glock 17. You just can't compete. Why would I choose to carry something this big and this bulky? 
when I can get the same capacity, the same reliability, and the same function in this. And by the way, from a function standpoint, these magazines worked flawlessly. I filled them all the way up. I even barnied one of them and fired it just from round one to the last round. They worked flawlessly. No issues whatsoever, which I've come to expect from the Hellcats. Everything I've had with these Hellcats, they just tend to work. Now, you might say, okay, but I want to use my little Hellcat because I want to be able to pocket carry. There you go. So you've got Glock 17 capacity in the pocket carry gun. Now, of course, when you go to the full capacity, the grip gets longer. The laws of physics still apply. Springfield can't do anything about that. So kind of bringing this kind of a conclusion, Springfield up in the game with the Hellcat almost ups the game with concealed carry in general. I can stake my pocket gun with 11 rounds and instantaneously convert it into a 17 round gun with my backup mag. Or I can actually choose, depending on how I'm carrying it, I could actually roll out with this. So really you're way up there in capacity. And the same thing applies if you go to the slightly larger Pro. I've got my 15 round flush mag and then I can easily go to my 17 round, which really isn't that long, much longer. So I'm getting 28 plus one in this if I start with that 11 round mag and then add the 17, and even more when I go with this. So I think concealed carry is changing. It's changing rapidly. What you would put in your pocket or put in your holster or inside your waistband is drastically changing. And I think the big, thick, classic double stacks like the Glock 17 and 19 and even the 26, it better look out. Glock's going to need to up their game on their capacity in those size guns because it's almost getting to the point where why would I choose a Glock 26 or a 19 when things like this exist? So thank you Springfield for sending us these magazines for review. I really think this is pretty sweet that the Hellcat is now up to 17 rounds. Beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Player, Rumble. We're pretty much everywhere. And thank you.